So we've talked about some probability problems that we can handle with simulation. That is, choosing using a random number generator, uh, some samples, and uh, hoping that they're representative of the problem. And if you choose enough, you get a close enough representation. An alternative strategy is enumeration, where we actually go over all the possibilities, and we can compute an exact probability. Now, some problems are so complex that it would take forever to do that, but uh, computers are much better at it than people are, and so it's a powerful strategy. We'll show you some simple examples, and they can scale up to more complex ones. So let's imagine uh, all the uh, possible families uh, living in houses, and these houses have different properties. This one is colored red and has an Englishman. Uh, this one has a zebra and so on. But for now, we're only interested in the uh, children that live in those houses. And in fact, we're only interested in the houses that have exactly two children. So we're going to uh, not consider some of them and consider the other ones that have exactly two children. And then we want to be able to ask questions of them. And we can ask probability questions. We're going to cons we're going to uh, constrain ourselves to ask conditional probability questions. So what is the probability of event A given event B? And an event is just a state of affairs. So event B might be the event of a family having exactly two children. And so we've uh, crossed off these uh, houses, and we're only taking these other ones. And then event A might be uh, the probability of having uh, a boy or a girl, say. Now, in real life, we can do simulation by going out and, and polling and asking people. In mathematics, we can do enumeration if we make certain assumptions. And so one assumption we can make is that it's exactly 50% probable that you get a boy and 50% probable that you get a girl, and that uh, one birth is independent from another. So let's address the question, what's the probability of having two boys, given that there's at least one boy in the family, and the universe of, uh, of possibilities is only the families that have exactly two children? So we could put that he here in the condition as well, at least one boy and two children total. What do you think this probability is equal to? Let's put your answer here and enter it in the form of a fraction. So if you think it's 1 half, put 1 and 2. If you think it's uh, 11 17ths, put 11 and 17. 